and welcome to Dabbling in Journals and in today's video I am going to set up a journal to take away for a couple of days. We're having a mini break and I'm going to pack up my journaling supplies that I'm going to take with me so I will show you what I'm going to bring. So let's get started straight away because I haven't got much time and look at this big fat chunky boy. So I don't want to take this big fat chunky journal so what I'm going to do is take the inserts out and swap in my travel insert so quite easy to do because I've already got everything in here that I want including my wallet so I thought I might as well just take this journal and swap the inserts about so I'm going to take out my big chunky memory keeping journal and when I go away for more than a day I like to use a different notebook rather than my everyday memory keeping journal. I don't know why, I just do. <laughs> I can't think of a good reason. <laughs> oh dear. So I've got my wallet here and I've got all my little bits and pieces that I like to have with me and the things that I need for decorating. Actually, some of these stickers I have bought to go to Paris, so I don't need to take these with me. Paris, 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 Paris. Those ones are not Paris, so I'm going to take those ones out. Okay, now this one is the journal, my hotel edition, Traveller's Notebook, where I keep my travel journal when I'm not actually using it. And I have this displayed in front of me on my desk so that I can admire its beauty. <laughs> I don't want to take it with me because I still haven't sorted out a pen loop and I don't want to lose it. <laughs> so all I'm going to do is take out my insert. So this is my travel insert. And I haven't done very much traveling for a long time. So all I have in here so far is a camping trip in 2020. And then, I think this is a different one. Yes, a camping trip in 2021. Last year we didn't do any camping. And we're not really camping this time because we've got two dogs that are going in the boot of the car. And then there's three of us because our son Theo is coming with us. So that leaves like one passenger piece of back seat for all our luggage where well, we didn't really think we could put a tent and bedding and all of those things just in that tiny space we do have a roof box for the car but even with that I don't know how we're going to quite work it if we want to go camping with all three of us now that we have two dogs because last time we came we just had we went away we just had River and she just kind of snuggled on my lap in the back of the car she was strapped in we don't have a light loose <laughs> So this is my travel journal. So I want to take this with me. And what I, what I, what one of the things that I find really useful is I always write at the beginning of a trip, I write my checklists and packing lists and obviously the information as to where we're going. So what I shall do once I've set this up is I will look back at these lists and I will write a packing list for today and hopefully those old ones will inspire me. So let's pop that one in. Nerf waffle from me. I don't know where the middle is. There. Like so. And then the other thing I thought I would take with me, I have in here this one. It's a craft insert, which I think Mel gifted to me. And look, I still haven't decorated the front. Might do that while I'm away. That would be a good thing to do. And in here, I just used it for a couple of day trips. I was going to use it as an illustrated journal, but I found that I just wasn't using it <laughs> so and that was a day out no it wasn't that was when i was still using it as an illustrated journal that was a day out on my daughter's birthday and that was a day out with my son to bath and that's all i've done in it so i thought well i'm going to take this with me and i will try and do a page in here too that would be cool so i'm going to stick that in here and I think that's really all I need to add to this journal. So it wasn't really much to set up, was it? So I'm all pretty well organised. And I'm going to save those stickers 
in this one. I've got all my Paris stickers that people have been gifting to me. Oh, so exciting. More Paris stickers, more bits and pieces. Got lots of things in here that people have gifted to me. So I will keep that on my shelf for now. And I've got that one to pack up. Now, the other thing I've done is I did gift away the <laughs> watercolour insert I made for myself in my little sketchbook, my passport size traveller's notebook. So I've just really quickly made myself another watercolour sketchbook to take with me on this trip. It's still wet, actually. I'm waiting for it to dry. And I tried this kind, which is like an accordion style. And this piece of paper is just a scrap and it's got some damage on it actually. So it's not something I could use for any kind of masterpiece. So I thought it would be good for a prototype making an accordion one. And it's much quicker and easier than a sewing one, I think. And yeah, it's really cool. All you've got to do is take your piece of paper and rip it a strip the size you want and then fold it up. Stick it onto your cover. And I'll be making one of these for Paris so I'll show you how I did it. But I'm just going to let that one dry for now. And so all I need to do now is pack up all my journaling supplies into my bag. So the bag that I'm taking with me on my trip is this Falraven Konkan. It's the mini one because I don't want to carry a huge amount. And I know what I'm like. If I take my big rucksack, I'll fill it up. So I am constrained by the size of this. So hopefully it won't be too heavy to carry. I'm also taking my matching Konkan hip pack which has got all my sketching supplies in and I already have a video showing me packing that one up. So this one is for my journaling supplies and Dawn if you're watching <laughs> here is the location of the final pin. So this is a pin from London Gifties that was gifted to me by the lovely Dawn and I decided to keep it on this rucksack because it's a pin of a journal and this is going to contain my journal and all my journaling supplies. So let's get started. The first thing we have here is a pocket and I thought this was the perfect size for my sort of electronic bits that I need when I'm out and about. So for example, I've got a power pack. I have some earphones with a lead. And I have AirPods and the earphones for a lead in case they run out of charge and I don't want to use up my power pack. <laughs> I might do, I don't know. And then, of course, with electronics, we need loads of leads, don't we? I don't have a tidy solution for my leads. I've got that really cool little... This was a freebie from something. Moonster. I don't know. So that holds that those ear phones really well so I could do with something like that for these couldn't I because these will get all in a pickle in there but that's fine so I'm just gonna shove them in there isn't that many that I won't be able to find what I need I hope <laughs> in you go <laughs> right so that's my leads and I've also somewhere got some little cleaning wipes you know for your phone screen or your ipad screen or whatever i thought that might be handy and last but not least in case it's cold and windy or in case it's hot just some lip balm and i thought that could go in there and then this little this little guy has two pockets and they're tiny pockets they're not really big enough for a water bottle not a water bottle that i own anyway and so what i thought i would use those for is i would use one of them for my sunglasses which i've got in here and that just fits really nicely in that pocket and then the other pocket I'm going to put this pencil case and I bought this pencil case which is the brand Vent for Change. It's www.ventforchange.co.uk and I bought this in the shop that my son did his work experience in because it was a fair trade shop and so they had lots of nice interesting eco-friendly goods and this of course is the perfect size to go in this little pocket here. So that's cool. And inside here, I have coloured pencils. Now, I own hundreds of coloured pencils, but I managed to pare it down. <laughs> so I think it's 14 colours. So 14 colours that I'm taking with me. 
so cool. <laughs> I spent a whole day choosing the colours of my pencils. I had so much fun and I bet you as soon as I try and colour something or draw something I'll think oh no I haven't got this colour that I really really need or really really want but let's see I'm hoping that I have every colour I need and if I haven't got the colour I need that I can mix it because these are luminance, Caran d'Ache luminance coloured pencils so they're very good for layering and blending and and you know uh, mixing and all kinds of things so let's pop those in here and that's my little color pencil stash and i like using these in journals you can of course use watercolor in journals if you've got time because you need time for the watercolors to dry whereas if you're just you know doing something really quickly color pencils don't need any drying time so they can be really handy for decorating your journal now inside Oh, I don't know if you can hear my son's playing the piano. <laughs> right. I, obviously, I need my journal. And this opens up quite wide, which makes it easier. In fact, if I put my journal in, I'm going to put in... I've got this pouch, which is a superior labour pouch in collaboration with Traveller's Company. Got this lovely little pin on it. And in here, I have my... What do you call those things? Is it called a... I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> oh my goodness, what's it called? I totally can't remember. I'm going to have to put it on the screen. But it's for it's for filming anyway. It's for filming. <laughs> and I can't remember what it is called. And I find that really useful to have with me if I want to do some vlogging type filming. And I've got one of these tripods, you know, that bends and, and it's not one of the fancy expensive Gorilla Pod ones. It's something similar, <laughs> but more affordable. And I've got one of those, so I'm going to pop that in. And that just fits in there nice and perfectly, which is just luck. And then I'll put my journal. I'm thinking, I'm really hoping all this stuff's going to fit. And then I've just got a wet bag with a cloth in it. And I'll just stick that in the back pocket, I think. There's a back pocket with like a seat pad in it, which also I think protects your back. I'll be interested to see whether this hurts my shoulders because if it does, you can buy shoulder pads, but they're extra, they don't come in the price. So I was thinking I'll wait and see. It was stuck on something. And then I've got a water bottle because you've got to have a water bottle, haven't you? And I'm thinking about getting one of those flat water bottles, but I haven't decided yet. And then I've got my little Eureka pouch, and this has got all my journaling supplies, and I'm sure I've got a setup video somewhere. But basically, it's got my ruler, my scissors, my eraser, my water brush, some fountain pens, a mechanical pencil, a sharpener. Um, so all the things that I need to journal with. Oh, and a glue pen. Mustn't forget my glue pen. <laughs> really like that little glue pen so that's my little journaling pouch and it's really cute and small and I'm hoping this is going to fit in here too and it does it fits in <laughs> now you see what I mean I really like to stuff full my rucksacks so I didn't want a big rucksack or I would have been carrying my own body weight in journaling supplies which would not be good and does it zip up the moment of truth it zips up so that's what I'm going to take with me for my mini break and I will let you know how I get on and whether I have to make any adjustments to this setup before I go to Paris. Now I am taking a few more journaling supplies with me because obviously this huge pile that I have in this rucksack isn't enough and bearing in mind that I also have my little sketching one. <laughs> so the extra supplies that I'm taking with me will be going in my suitcase. And those consist of my larger A5 Uriliku pouch, which I set up to hold ephemera. 
and there is a video showing all the little bits and pieces that I have in here. I might have added a few more things from a more recent Happy Mails, but yeah, it's basically the same. So I'm taking that, but that's going to go in the suitcase. I'm not going to carry that around everywhere. The other thing that's going in my suitcase is my little photo printer because I do use that a lot in my journals as you know so I've got a it's a HP sprocket it's the larger size so it's not the two by three it's the bigger one 2.3 by 3.4 so it's a slightly bigger one and I like this size because the photos fit their credit card size so they fit in like any little credit card pockets and things that you have in your journals so I am taking that with me and I have some spares. Oh, and there's another London Gifties pin. <laughs> that one looks so like gorgeous on there. It's like it was made for it. And the last thing that I'm taking is my little small superior labour pouch. This one's well loved. Some of the paint's coming off now. And in there I've got my stamps. So I've just got some ink pads, which I really should put in a plastic bag. I've got my little coffee one that Jackie made me and I've got all my stamps and I've got a mini mister to help me clean it. Well, it looks like I've got some spare cartridges in there as well. It's nice to have spare cartridges everywhere for your main fountain pen. Oh, that reminds me. I haven't inked up my new fountain pen. I've been so busy. Oh, I must do that before I go because I've got, I'm taking it with me. It won't be much good if I hasn't got any ink in it, will it? <laughs> I'll just be writing invisibly which, you know, it's not so good to look back on. <laughs> so those three items are going to be going in my suitcase. So what do you think? We're only going away for two nights and I have all of these journaling supplies that I feel I can't live without. <laughs> so I am definitely an addict, aren't I? Never mind. It's all good fun. So I will obviously be doing some vlogging and some journaling while I'm away. And I'm looking forward to sharing some of the experience with you. So thank you for watching today. And I will see you again very soon. Bye.